Hello again, folks. I hope you enjoy the stupid set of anime images I've overlaid over my webcam. How do you fix uh, cropping issues on your cheap Walmart webcam? If you're a Luddite, you just throw some random images from your pictures folder over it and call it a day. Truly, we live in amazing times. But anyways, on to the topic I would like to talk about today. On to the most interesting of topics. And let's talk about homosexuality today. Not global homo, not anything else, but actual gay. We'll talk about the gays. So, a lot of people make these arguments, for instance, that being a homosexual is somehow not a choice, that, you know, you can't control who you're attracted to, and somehow then you're unable to control anything else that, that your life is involved with. And that's just simply factually not true. If you happen to be of the queer persuasion, if you're someone that is attracted to the same gender, if you're that 2% of the population that actually is involved in something like that, <clears throat> you still have a choice, just flat out. You have a choice, white man, as they would say. Uh, a lot of you won't get that meme, and it's fine. But anyways, think about it this way. You have two paths you can go down in life, right? You can... There we go. You can embrace your absolute degeneracy and hedonism down this path. You can have a lower life expectancy than someone born with cancer because being gay takes 30 years off your life. You can, you know, become a complete and total degenerate. You can waste away, have your body riddled with diseases, have a thousand sexual partners a year like most homosexuals do, and have all of these terrible things happen to you. You can, you know, degradate your body and society as a whole and destroy everything about yourself. And then you can die at, like, the age of 50 from AIDS or something like that, unless you're a millionaire. You know, all of that is open to you on one side. Or you can say, okay, I was born with something that's going to make my life significantly harder, like many people, you know, 2% of the population. I exist in a an ideal where, you know, I could simply just embrace the best version of myself, which is going to be the version that overcomes that slight very slight, you know, problem of being attracted to someone and still try and live a normal life, still try and, you know, at least procreate, at least pretend not to be a flaming mongoloid and live the best life I possibly can and not embrace my hedonism and utter degeneracy, contribute to society and make the world a better place. So that you have two options, basically. You can die at the age of 50 from AIDS or you can try and live a normal life and you know, deal with a slight complication. And let's be clear here, even if you fail, don't make a family if you're all alone for the rest of your life, you're at least, you can live a minimalist lifestyle, you can contribute and, you know, attain the highest sense possible happiness you can get, or you can be a degenerate. Now, I don't know many homosexuals that are happy, despite the name being gay. I don't know many people that actually, that take the right-hand path, the hedonist path, and are rewarded. Well, I should say the left-hand path because it's satanic, but that's another topic for another day. And the reality is you have a choice. Yes, this applies to gender dysphoria as well. Like if you believe you're born in the same body, you still have a choice. You know, this applies to pedophilia as well. You have a choice. Even if you're attracted to something, you do not have to act upon that attraction. You do not have to do stupid shit. Spoilers. You can, in fact try and live a modest, normal lifestyle, even if you're born with a slight disability. There are people that are born without legs or appendages, there are people that are born with horrible diseases all the time that still strive to try and have the best life they possibly can. There is literally zero excuse for you not to strive to have the best life that you possibly can. You know, so, at least if I see it, the choice is very easy, you know, and I suggest that you embrace at least if you're not going to try and formulate families, if you're not trying to make the best version of yourself, at least embrace, you know, being alone and figuring out a way to make things work for you. And I'm not going to tell you what to, you know, spend your time alone with or whatever, but I will say that if you are of the gay persuasion, in the future, 
there's going to be AI that comes out that's going to be able to make any sort of partner you ever wish that it would allow you unlimited escapism, which will give you the best possible outcome for your life and your happiness. It's the same thing with the I, you know, I cells and all the other, like, you know, if you're not someone that's going to have a partner in life or if you're not going to, you know, make meaningful contributions to society, right? If you're just going to be a net drain, which God bless you if you are, I want you to be a net drain on society. Like, let's be clear. AI cannot be stopped. It's, you know, even open source implementations of it. Just get a little bit computer literate. You'll be fine, you know. So that's the reality of the situation. Those are your options. Embrace which one, that, you know, embrace whichever one makes the most sense to you. But I would say that the decision is fairly simple and you should definitely try and embrace one that makes at least some sense. I'm not going to tell you, you know, to go ahead and like embrace some sort of, you know, Judeo-Christian value set because it's dead and, you know, whatever happens, happens from this point going forward as far as our values or our culture or society. It's impossible to predict what the next big thing is going to be. But I would say if you can make a logical principle and defend it, and if it's not based on error like homosexuality and all these other things are, if it's actually based in root and fact and it's a principle that you can live by in a little principled life, you're going to be a lot happier than if you just embrace, you know, your base instincts and base urges. And give it some thought, you know. I know there are plenty of people out there that are, you know, if not gay, they act gay, right? And my voice definitely offsets that. And I've never felt attraction to the same gender, so I don't have to worry about that. Although I do have a horrible voice. I get it. You might assume that it is. And if you do, and you assume this is personal advice for me, well then, you know, all the better, right? Because you can still live a fully normal lifestyle. You can retire at the age of 35 and then, you know, have a decent enough time alone and be able to do anything you want with your time. And, you know, just consider it. Why not? What What's the big deal? Like, the same thing if you're like a pedo. Literally just leave the kids alone. I don't understand. Like, people can conquer their biology or conquer their sexual needs so easily. And they just don't. I just don't understand it. But that's enough for now. You get the picture. Have a great day.